All right, so uh, let's get started, and I think uh, today we're gonna focus on uh, maybe some uh, some NPC design. All right, so NPCs are pretty important for any adventure. They usually, uh, you know, give you out your quests and basically make the game interesting. All right, so first we'll uh, what we do is we'll select an NPC and we'll place one. Let's place it in front of the water wheel. All right, now you can do several things. You can name your NPC. Let's call this guy Bob. Hello, Bob. Um, you can change their avatar. You can select random ones. You can people on your uh, friends list, or if you have another controller in, you can you can uh, choose the avatar from another profile on your account or your Xbox hard drive. Um, their expression, what they're initially like. Make this guy sleepy. If they're visible or hidden, or maybe visible in the day, or visible in the night only. So you can have a ghost at night, for example, if they're only visible at night. And you can have them walking around at first, or standing still, we'll just have them staying still. And basically, if they have no dialogue, this is their default response, we'll just leave it as goodbye. Alright, now let's, uh, let's do dialogue. So select dialogue, and then select the NPC you want to assign dialogue to. Alright, now this screen might seem a little confusing at first. You basically just have a start node, which you can do nothing with. This is just the start of all your conversations. And to add uh, some additional conversation nodes, just hit the X button. So now we can have a conversation. Now this is basically, uh, this is your first conversation node, so let's actually click this. Edit. We'll uh, go to properties for now. We'll deal with the other things later. Hero. This is what you say to the person to initiate to initiate the conversation. So let's say hello. Oh wait, actually, let's say hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. All right. And response is. Oh no! Monsters are attacking me and I'm using a chat pad which is why I had a typo there I usually use a keyboard it just it's easier to record the videos with the chat with the controller and have no keyboard in front of me all right so let's give him scared because monsters are attacking him there's that I'm just scared all right so now what we can do you can also add another node and just have it as something like never mind and yes there was a typo there which will probably be a few dot 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 now what you can do is you can add more nodes and as you can see you can make a pretty big tree pretty quickly to fill those out but we're not, we're not going to do that for now. Let's actually worry about making uh, events happen. So what you can do... Oh, you know what? Let's worry about show conditions. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll have default response as... See ya. Oops. My chat pad's pretty old. It doesn't really respond very well. Now let's worry, let's, so what show conditions and high conditions are. Show conditions are events that let that will show the dialogue node. So for example, you can have a show condition based on your skill. So you can have your speech or your strength. You know, if I'm this strong, I it will show the dialogue node. Like I'm tough enough to defeat those monsters, or you can do you know speech. Uh, you can trick people with speech, or you can, you can create dialogue notes based on certain skills. Or if you have enough gold, you know, I, I need to bribe this person. Or if you have a certain object in your inventory, oh, I, I, I failed that book, so, uh, so, so let's complete the quest, which you can do with events. But, you know, show if you have a certain quest or this objective. Uh, sh show if hero has reached a certain level. Now, um, 
hide works basically the same way except it hides the node like if you've uh, if you are at uh, a certain strength you can't do the the uh, the low strength one so it's like you know you want to hide if you say oh I'm a weakling I can't fight the monster well if you're not a weakling then you want to hide that node with a certain skill or or gold or you can mix and match those so you know let's have this node show if we are of strength one takes a little while cycle over all right so let's have the node I'll bash those monsters faces in Oh, where's the exclamation mark right there? Oops. There, there it goes. Okay. He's not very talkative. Now, what we could do, we could create an event through a dialogue, such as activating a combat zone. But first, we need a combat zone to be, uh, to be placed at where we are, so... Let's do that first. Combat zone, new. We'll put it right where you're standing. We'll add some uh, some spawn points right around the spot. Add new enemies. We'll have three smelly trolls. And let's do two archers. Okay, next step, we'll call it combat zone Bob. That way we'll know which one this is. We'll have it triggered by an event, which means you can't activate it by just walking over it. And completion event, so let's just give some gold. 50, and we'll do a little bit of experience. Let's say 7. Alright, so uh, now what we want to do is do the dialogue. If you have enough strength to activate this event. And. Visibility slash active is where the combat zones are. Select map, tutorial one. And combat zone Bob, we want active. Alright, but this doesn't, uh, if you think about this, once we beat the combat zone, it's, uh, this dialogue is still going to show. So what we need to do is maybe make this into a quest or have the NPC or have the monsters drop an item but you know what let's make this into a quest that will make it a little more interesting so we'll cover quests as well all right let's go over right bumper over to create uh, let's do it as a side quest new side quest troll hunting all right and you know what we won't even bother I won't bother with descriptions and stuff uh, worry about that on your own. Uh, kill trolls. Oops. Talk to Bob. Alright, so we have two objectives, which is kill trolls and talk to Bob. Now, let's have the, when we not only will we activate the combat zone, we'll activate the quest through an event. Activate quest, troll hunting. Alright. So, what first objective let's worry about is we have to kill the, the trolls, which, you know, there's more than one, there's more than trolls there, there's actually skeletons, but maybe people won't realize that when they play the quest. Alright, kill trolls. So that completes. But uh, we still have to talk to Bob again. Well, first we probably should do is, oh no, their monsters are attacking me. Well, that doesn't make sense. So you know what, let's actually have a show condition here of objective for quest troll hunting, objective, uh, talk to Bob. Basically, oh wait, actually let's have it as uh, I think you do it as a quest, just to show you the quest as well, because objectives, you can specify objectives. And this, you can just do the, the general quest. If it has not started, it will show this dialogue node. However, we need a dialogue now. If we have 
activate the quest or if we have completed an objective let's do uh, the objective uh, let's do talk to Bob if it's active it will show this dialogue node which is let's say I got them trolls all dead yeah our hero isn't uh, isn't the best speaker Yeah. Okay, so now let's uh, have this complete the objective. And complete the quest. And if you finish the last objective through an event, that will automatically complete the quest. So now let's offer a quest reward. Let's say that. Let's say 90 gold. And now let's do 10 experience. No, you know, let's do let's do even more. 40 experience. And we'll do one more dialogue. Oh, you know, we don't even need one more. We'll just have it say never mind when we talk to him again. Alright. So, uh... That's just briefly going over dialogue. Of course, uh, in your adventure, you'll probably want uh, tons of these NPCs, but that, uh, that briefly covers it. Alright, see you next time.